Good day, my dear students. I am Mr. Paolo Fosquera, your teacher in Science 9. Our topic for today is all about the events and types of respiration. We all know the definition and concept of respiration in our previous video. So for today, we will have a complex study about respiration. For our lesson objectives, at the end of this lesson, the students should be able to Explain each event of respiration and make a graphical organizer about the events of respiration. So we have five events of respiration. So we have breathing, external respiration, transport of oxygen, internal respiration, and use of oxygen. So let's talk about first the breathing. So in our previous video, we all know that breathing, it is a passing in and out of the air. Again po, saan po natatagpuan or saan nangyayari ang ating breathing sa part ng respiratory system? We have our lungs. So very good. Again po, yung pong breathing is takes place in our lungs. So as you can see in this picture, we have here inhaling and exhaling so dito po makikita nyo na when we inhale our diaphragm is contracted again po yung ating diaphragm pag tayo nag inhale ay nakokontract while our um, chest cavity po ay nagpupul upward kaya napapansin nyo po kaya pag kayo ay nag inhale inhale nalaki po yung ating chest cavity while yung ating diaphragm ay tumiliit or nagko-contract. While in our exhaling, ito po, makikita nyo, inhale, and then exhale. So, ano nangyayari sa ating chest cavity? Nag, go, go back to normal. Very good. While our diaphragm ay nagkakaroon po ng relaxation. Kasi po, bumabalik sa dati yung diaphragm and yung ating chest cavity. So, ayun po yung ating breathing. So, again po, ano po ang breathing? Very good. The passing in and out of the air. So, the next one po ay ating external respiration. So, when we say external respiration, it is the exchange of gases between the external environment and the lungs. Again po, meron po tayo ditong Word na external environment. Ano ba yung external? So, pag sinabi po natin external, ay labas. So, get away po. Kapag sinabing external, ayun po ay ex exit. So, again po, palabas. So, ayun po, external environment. Ayun po ay merong external respiration. Sir, ano po yung nangyayari sa external respiration? So, bali, kapag tayo nag-inhale, or nag-exhale, ayun po ay nangyayari sa ating nose. And then, yung pong ating ini-inhale at ini-exhale ay mula din po sa ating alveoli na kung saan ayun po yung last part ng ating respiratory system na nangyayari ang exchanging of carbon dioxide and oxygen. So, mamaya makikita nyo sa types of respiration kung ano ba ang nangyayari. Kung parehas lang ba sila ng breathing or hindi. So, in our third event po ng respiration, the transport of oxygen. So, transport of oxygen to body cells and collection of carbon dioxide. So, dito na nagpapalitan ng ating um, carbon dioxide and the oxygen. So, I have here a series of pictures that you can see the exchanging of air, the carbon dioxide, and the oxygen in our lungs. So, dito po, kapag tayo nag-inhale, pupunta po siya sa ating alveolus. Kapag sinabi po alveolus, ayun po ay singular. Kapag plural, kapag marami pong alveolus, ayun po ay 
alveoli. So, pag nag-inhale po tayo, yung oxygen po ay papasok. Pupunta sa ating alveoli. Itong red na circle na to, ito po yung oxygen. Next po, yung pong oxygen ay mag-a-undergo ng diffusion. Bali, pupunta po yun sa ating capillaries. So, ito po yung ating capillaries, ayun po yung bumabalot sa ating mga alveolus. Next po, kapag nagkaroon na na ng diffusion, yung pong nasa capillaries, kasi sa capillaries po ay meron niyang red blood cell. Tapos po, doon sa red blood cell na yun, ay meron siyang carbon dioxide na galing sa ating katawan. Yung pong carbon dioxide na yun na galing sa ating katawan ay i-exchange niya doon sa oxygen na meron sa ating alveolus. Bali, magpapalitan lang yung dalawa. Yung oxygen na nasa loob ng alveolus at yung um, carbon dioxide na nasa loob ng red blood cell, mag -e exchange po yung gas nila. Bali, yung oxygen pupunta sa ating red blood cell, yung carbon dioxide pupunta sa ating alveolus. The next one po, pumasok na yung ating carbon dioxide. Ito yung um, black. Ayun po, makikita nyo, pumasok na sa ating bronchioles. And then, dadaan po siya, dadaan dito, papunta sa ating trachea. And ayun po yung ating exhale, carbon dioxide. So, ayun po yung sa ating transport of oxygen. So, balikan po natin. Yung pong oxygen na ating in-inhale ay pumunta sa ating alveolus. And then, nagkaroon po ng diffusion. Kasi po, nagpalitan po yung carbon dioxide at yung ating oxygen sa ating capillaries. And then, ito pong ating carbon dioxide ay pumunta sa loob ng alveolus at dumaan na palabas yung ating carbon dioxide papunta sa ating other parts of respiratory system hanggang ma-exhale po natin. So, I hope na naintindihan nyo po yung pag-transport ng ating oxygen. So, the next one po is the internal respiration. So, ano po nangyayari sa isa internal respiration? Di ba kanina? External. Sabi natin, exit or external environment. So, palabas. So, sa internal naman po, in intrans. So, ayun po, exchange of gases between the blood and body cells. So, ano po yung nangyayari doon? ba diba? Meron tayong oxygen na transport na ng ating red blood cell. Tapos po, itong red blood cell pupunta sa ating iba't ibang parte ng katawan, papunta sa iba't ibang body cells. At pag pumunta po sa ating cells yan, sa cells po natin, meron tayong mitochondria. Yung pong mitochondria po yun ay tinatawag din na powerhouse of the cell. Bali siya, bali siya po yung responsible for having a cellular respiration. So, ano po nangyayari sa cellular respiration? So, po yung cellular respiration na yun ay nagtatransport o nagko-convert into energy and carbon dioxide. Again po, yung po oxygen parang ginagawang, ginagawang gasolina para tumakbo yung factory. Ayun po yung ating mitochondria. At yung factory na yun ay nagpo-produce ng ating energy at ng carbon dioxide. Bali, yung carbon dioxide na yun, ayun po yung ating yung pupunta ulit sa red blood cell. Itatransport ulit sa alveolus natin. Palabas ulit ng ating nose or respiratory System. So, ayun po yung nangyayari sa internal respiration. So, from blood and body cells. And the last one po sa event of respiration is the use of oxygen. So, sa use of oxygen po ay dyan lang po sinasabi kung paano natin ginagamit yung oxygen sa loob ng ating katawan. So, use of oxygen in cell process and the expulsion of carbon dioxide. Ayun po yung kanina. Ginagamit natin yung ating oxygen para magkaroon na tayo ng energy. At yung pong carbon dioxide ay lumalabas sa ating katawan. At ayun po yung ating ini-exhale. So we have here the types of respiration. So it is based on our location. Kung saan po ba nangyayari itong tatlong types ng respiration na ito. So, the first one po ay external respiration or 
breathing. Diba sabi natin kanina, kung parehas lang ba yung external at breathing? Yes po. Parehas lang po sila. Kasi po, para sila nangyayari sa external environment natin. Particularly in our nose. So, di ba? Pag na tayo nag inhale oxygen. Kapag nag-exhale, carbon dioxide. So, ayun po ay nangyayari sa ating nasal area. Again po, first type of respiration, external respiration. Gaseous exchange at nasal area. So, the next one po is the internal respiration in for entrance. So, sa loob po ng katawan natin, nangyayari yung internal respiration, the exchange of gases. So, dito po, papasok yung ating oxygen sa ating trachea, pupunta po sa iba't ibang parts ng ating respiratory system, hanggang sa ating alveolus. At doon sa alveolus naman po, di ba, meron tayong oxygen na na-inhale natin, magpapalitin po sila ng gas. So, yung oxygen pupunta sa ating red blood cell, yung carbon dioxide pupunta sa ating alveolus. At yung po oxygen na yun ay magtatransport sa ating iba't ibang body cells. And the last one po is the cellular respiration. So, dito po, di ba, kapag tayo ay nakain, nakakakuha tayo ng energy, tama? So, kasi po, meron tayong food molecules na kung saan bine-breakdown o pinagpa pinagpaparti-partihan yung nutrients na nakukuha natin doon and then itinuturn po ito as our energy. So, ito po yung ating energy derivation from breakdown of food molecules. Again, saan po nangyayari cellular respiration sa ating, anong parts yun ng ating cell? The powerhouse of the cell? It is mitochondria. Very good. And now class, we can explain the events of respiration and we have breathing na nangyayari po more on sa ating nasal area and the second one is the external respiration the exchange of gases between the external environment the third one is the transport of oxygen to body cells and the collect po ng carbon dioxide and the fourth one po ay ang ating internal respiration na ang exchange po ng gases ay nangyayari sa ating blood and body cells. And the last one is the use of oxygen in cell process and the expulsion of carbon dioxide. In your learning module, Science 9, Quarter 1, Page 7, you will see the activity that you need to accomplish. Congratulations! You are done dealing with the activity number 4, what is your favorite event? Because you already watched this video that you need to answer or to do the activity number 5. And in this activity number 5, you need to identify the events of human respiration and describe each process from beginning to the end using this graphic organizer. And after that, answer the process question, explain how the oxygen and carbon dioxide are being exchanged in our body. Once you are done doing activity number 5, we can make a graphical organizer about the events of respiration. If you have queries or misconception about our topic, you can message me Monday to Thursday, 1 to 4 p.m. and during our live sessions. Thank you for listening. I hope that you learned a lot about our lesson in the events of respiration. See you on my next video. Bye-bye!